And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the truths around real estate, credit, finance, estate planning, tax planning, and so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, and we want to engage you to help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Pull out your smartphone, save save our hotline number in your phone. At some point, you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. Call or text 813-670-7372. And check out our website, newly redesigned website, ConsumerQB.com. A lot of information available for you on our show website, ConsumerQB.com. And you can see links to all of our expert contributors. You can see the blog and live stream. You can actually stream the show live there if you're on your uh, mobile device or maybe you're checking it out on WeBeam TV. And also... Uh, check out PlatinumMVPRealty.net if you're in the real estate space looking to sell any assets. We would love to hear from you. And it's Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today. Uh, Jason Brooks back in the house. He's a mortgage expert with eMortgage Management and the Delboro team. Good to be here. Uh, today we're going to talk a couple of different things. Um, hur uh, Hurricane Irma Relief, uh, a couple of the different things that the financial sector is actually doing to help. Um, and also uh, talk a little bit about where we see interest rates moving. Yeah, let's see what happens with with rates and all this, and and you know, will it will they increase? Will they stay? You know, let's see what happens there. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's it, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of things going on internationally um, that will will or could have a giant uh, a very large impact on the uh, on on what rates do or don't do. Yeah, I just I just started listening to a podcast with uh, Ray Dalio. It's uh, Ray Dalio mm -hmm. Principles called Principles. Interesting to see his perspective as he kind of came up and built his huge, huge, uh, uh, mo uh, you know, investing company. He's he's had multiple companies, but interesting podcast there. Mm -hmm. Some of the insights that you get from that. Also, the Snoop Dogs in the house. Jay Smith, Snoop Dogg, a Snoop Inspection. Welcome in. Ah, uh, glad to be back. Glad to be back to normal. You know. Yeah, get out finally. there and work the regular work and uh okay not all of us are normal i understand <laughs> <laughs> settling back in a little bit though it is it's, it's getting back to the regular uh schedule and, and getting back out and doing normal inspections and helping people out again yeah starting to normalize somewhat and uh, also we have john grant coming in as well john grant eagle led lighting i think i see him out in the lobby getting ready to come in and uh, yeah we're going to help you out a lot of different areas where we're going to help you uh, with uh, real estate credit finance estate planning tax planning health nutrition lifestyle you know legal advice we've got a lot of different folks that can help you with this show and we want to engage you uh and and help you win uh, no matter what you're facing out there great calls last week we had a lot of people calling in texting in uh, for information about how they can improve their credit scores or maybe they're looking to buy real estate get into the real estate game and uh, you know especially if you're a renter out there you've got to get off of that renting uh, mentality get into ownership and uh, we got a great top 10 coming up we got the top 10 five uh, fortune 500 companies uh, list via the fortune500.com and also a great feel good story as well. We got a Nashville musician befriends the woman whose uh, negligent driving left him paralyzed. So an interesting story there as well uh, coming up. And before we jump into this great content, as you know, I'm the owner of Platinum MVP Realty. I want to let you know about a hot listing that we've got on St. Pete Beach. This was 3610 Casablanca Avenue, uh, St. Pete Beach. It's a Don Cesar subdivision, three bedrooms, two and one half bath, $625,000 for this beautiful property at 3610 Casablanca Avenue uh, in St. Pete Beach, right next to the Hotel Zamora, who is our official hotel partner. Check out the Hotel Zamora and let them know the real estate quarterback sent you, and you're going to get a 20% discount off of your local staycation and the the hotel zamora is a whitewashed mediterranean palace uh, with expansive luxury suites overlooking the intercoastal waterway and then also you've got the uh, rooftop 360 lounge as well up top great great views from our hotel partner the hotel zamora on saint pete beach 
And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this content. So uh, Jason Brooks in the house. So Hurricane Irma Relief, uh, mm -hmm. what are you seeing out there? Yeah, so a um, couple of really cool things. So a lot of the creditors out there are, if you were in a disaster affected uh, declared area, excuse me, um, then they're offering uh, pay, a payment relief. So for instance, your mortgage company, um, from what I'm understanding, there's pretty much all of them. I, I'm not, I haven't verified all of them or not, but uh, they're offering three months, you know, 90 days, uh, no payments. So essentially all they're doing is stacking those on the end of the term. Uh, it's, there's no, you know, they're not considering you derogatory or late during that time frame. Same thing with credit cards, car loans. Um, so if you were, you know, impacted, and I think pretty much all of us were to some extent, I know right. I had, I spent a lot of thousands of dollars um, on stuff that I uh, either prepared for or the aftermath, you know, tree cutting, fencing, you know, things like that that we lost or, or, or were damaged. Yep. Um, so it does help. I mean, it is something to consider. Um, you can contact your, you know, your, your creditor themselves and, and see what they're doing to, to help. Um, but it is something to take advantage of now, you know, especially if you had additional out-of-pocket costs. Yeah, absolutely. And you look at, I wonder where they draw the line with this stuff. When you look at some of the FEMA, you know, there's a website where you can go mm -hmm. on and you can apply. Uh, where do they draw the line with, you know, where you are, was your business affected? Yeah. You know, real estate, we were really slow that week, of course, you know, mm -hmm. 10 days, maybe 12 days. Uh, you look at the insurance companies that weren't binding insurance. So how right. do they, do, do you have any insights on how they draw um, that line? I, the disaster, again, once FEMA declares it, they, they declare a beginning and an end. Um, and the, like for us, you know, we, we were not able to do anything on a government insured loan until September 25th. I mean, we couldn't even order inspections because that was the the end date that they declared even though the storm was almost two weeks prior to that mm. so um it, it does delay a lot of things uh, we as a company what we did is we automatically extended rates for free um we worked with home buyers um you know all, almost all the florida real estate uh, uh contracts actually have verbiage in them that speak directly to a natural disaster uh it's an automatic extension it's not something that seller can or can't you know accept um so we we you know kind of so to speak held their hand um as far as how FEMA declares, um, it's really based, up, from what I understand, it's based on claims. Um, so, uh, you know, based on our area, I know pretty much the entire west coast of Florida, the, all the counties that are that are land are on, are on touching water were declared in the majority of the inland counties. I think, and I want to say it was like 62 or 70 percent of the counties in the state of Florida were declared. Um, wow. So, in that sense, I mean, I had neighbors that lost, you know, large portions of their home with trees falling on them and stuff like that. So, I mean, it was... Even though we didn't see the heavy, heavy winds, I mean, 60, 70 yeah. miles an hour, there was still a lot of damage done by the hurricane itself. So yeah. um, anytime that there's, um, you know, FEMA does that declaration, it's a national thing. It's not something that it's kind of what businesses look at in the financial sector to make their decisions. Um, and a lot of it is mandated. So a lot of the federal relief, a lot of the relief that you're seeing from these these creditors is actually because it's been mandated uh, mm -hmm. by the federal government that they have to uh, give these, you know, these uh, this time off or, or whatnot to to help with people just to save some money. Yeah, to ease the relief and the mm -hmm. tension exactly. coming back. Yeah, because it, it's this trickle down effect too. You look at uh, was I directly affected at my condo in in the uh, flood zone A in Tampa? Mm -hmm. No, water didn't rise. It didn't. But ultimately, I, yeah, I was affected. Like you said, I had to pay for health, hotel rooms out of town that right. I didn't expect. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Airbnbs you, you, and then the, the generators, course, the, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, all of that. So you have the trickle down effect, and there's limit. There's uh, you know different degrees of that. Uh, and then I was talking to uh, my massage therapist um, this week, and she was saying, you know, she's got a lot of family in Puerto Rico. She hasn't even talked to some of her uh, family down there, and mm -hmm. you know they got yeah, one, they, one generator. I mean, right. that's they've got it bad down there. Yeah, I think they think that's something about a, a ninety-two of the hundred and ten cell towers are are gone, are right. knocked out. So. Um, there's still whole areas that have no idea, um, you know, what's what's going on. No, no weather service either, so they don't know what's coming. They don't even know exactly. if there's a thunderstorm on their way or another hurricane behind it. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. that, and that's what happened with Irma and then uh, Maria. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. think about that. You don't even know what's coming, and then all of a sudden, wow, here's another one. Right, yeah. Back to back. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, our, our prayers go out for the, for the folks affected down there as well. And um, so... Jason Brooks here in studio. I'm your host, Brandon Ryans. We're talking mortgage expert advice here, ways that you can uh, build a better life and, and think a layer deeper. So, you know, talk about the investing side of real estate. You know, a lot of investors working with you, I'm sure. And yeah. You look yeah, at, real estate's where yeah. it's, I mean, if, again, I've said this before on the show, you know, seven out of 10 self-made people made their money in real estate. Um, there's yeah. a reason for that. It's, it's a good long-term investment. Um, you can't really 
outside of maybe no not even now so i mean any 10 year time frame you look going back 60 70 years it, it's always a very strong return on your investment typically more than you would see in a, any market unless you're right. very aggressive as an investor um and it's also a good um you know good way to uh again with an invest different than than any other type of investment you have a renter that's actually covering your principal and interest payments you're creating the yes. tax deduction for um, yeah. so at the end of the day it's it, it's it's a really good investment um it allows you to set up a really good residual income during the retirement years. Uh, I have a lot of investors that I work with. That's their goal to get to 55, 60 years old and have 10 properties that are free and clear. That's right. You know, $15,000 a month when you're, you know, retired and you're not doing anything for that money. Yep. Uh, that's pretty good income. Uh, Absolutely. More than most people could would even, you know, uh, think about at that stage. So it's it's a really good opportunity, especially in our market. Yeah. A lot, of, even a lot of accredited investors, you know, with the $100,000 um, threshold there. Um, Grant Cardone's been on the show. Mm -hmm. A lot of, you know, see him on Instagram, a lot of things he's doing. It's, it's, uh, accredited investors, Cardone Capital, you know, people, uh, investing into, uh, multifamily, mm -hmm. you know, it's oh, just such a strong class. Yeah. We don't have a lot of it here. It, it'd be nice to see. Um, it'd be a really good investment opportunity from a builder's perspective to go out and buy some land and put some multifamilies in, but that's always the best opportunity to not only, you know, get into the investment portfolio, but you can live in half of it, buy it as a primary limited down payment. You know, it, it works out really well that way. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, on a smaller scale, the duplex, the triplex, the quads, those are, uh, you know, great ideas to do. It's an insurable asset. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you couple that with investing through an IRA with mm -hmm. someone like Scott Maurer from our right. quarterback show power team here with the consumer quarterback show, you know, investing through an IRA, you know, you're going to be taking about advantage of a lot of different. Yeah. All aspects. the tax benefits on that too. You know, you don't pay the penalties by reinvesting that money through real estate uh, assets. So um, a lot of people have no idea that's even a possibility. Uh, right. I have that conversation a lot, and uh, I have see somebody sitting there with four hundred grand in, a, in an IRA or four hundred one k that they can't, they're not using. Yep. Um, don't realize that they can actually reinvest that through a business venture and not pay taxes on or penalties on it. Yeah, you, you're able to you know maximize the efficiencies, the economies of scale. Uh, buy them a lot of times with a, a low down payment loan, three three and a half percent down payment. Uh, if you're a veteran out there, you get the hundred percent financing. Right. Uh, let's talk about veterans when we come back as well. What we're doing special for veterans? We got a special offer coming up uh, on the other side of this break. Also, Nashville musician befriends the woman whose negligent driving left him paralyzed. And more from our expert contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We also have an interesting top ten list for you the top 10 uh, fortune 500 companies in terms of revenue uh, here on the consumer quarterback show so stay with us do not touch that dial we're going to help you win in any marketplace tampa bay and the gulf coast region's number one consumer advocate program right here on am 1380 the biz monday through friday five o'clock drive time syndicated on the weekends on fm 1025 the bone and daily 10 a.m on we beam tv we'll see you on the other side of the break this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, the Quarterback Show. Platinum MVP Realty, helping you win in any marketplace. Jason Brooks in the house. E Mortgage Management. We got the Snoop Dog in the house as well. A Snoop Inspection and John Grant Eagled LED Lighting. And um, so we were where we left off. We were talking with Jason, and, and we want to do something for our veterans. You know, there's a lot of stuff in the NFL right now. You're seeing all these different things. So uh, we thought maybe we'll just kind of throw some a package together to help any veterans out there, anybody that's listening, uh, or you know of someone that's wanting to get into home ownership. Maybe they're renting. You know, throwing away a lot of money, paying their landlord's mortgage. Uh, maybe, maybe they're just looking to uh, get a consultation. They're not ready yet, but they just want to know what's out there. Um, Jason, I, I want you to explain what you guys do for the veterans, and then also, you know, Platinum MVP Realty. On top of what you guys will do, we'll offer a half a point discount back to, or a, a rebate back to uh, any veteran who buys with us or sells with us. Uh, we're going to rebate monies back to them at closing costs. As yeah, well. that's awesome. I mean, the, what we do right now is we cover the cost of their appraisal fee right out of the gate which is you know, typically about 500 bucks. Um, yeah. We have no underwriting fees, no junk fees uh, on any of those transactions, which is typically about thousand yep. dollars. And then we do an additional, um, uh, you know, we do do an additional thousand dollar concession back to the home, to the buyer. Um, so that is basically goes towards their other closing costs, like title taxes, setting up escrows, that kind of thing. Yep. Um, on top of that, we have, uh, we, we've partnered with several other uh, groups, whether it be, uh, furnishing, furnishings. I mean, you name it. You, if the things that you would need in a house, um, electronics, things like that, that also also offer pretty significant discounts, usually about twenty to thirty percent. Um, so, you know, anybody that is active duty military, retired, um, doesn't matter if you've served in, uh, served our country in, in any of our uh, in, in any of our um, armed forces, then you you would get that discount. Yeah, I like that. And we'll extend our, our half a point rebate back to any um, any of these uh, first responders as well, you know, ambulance, uh, you know, sheriffs, deputies, folks that are out there, you know, on the front lines. They're, they're working hard to protect us. Uh, we're going to we're going to, you know, pr pursue it that way and help you with those those types of decisions. Um, so, yeah. So when you look at a veteran, you know, the, one of the things that our country, our country gets a lot of things wrong and they, they're doing things, you know, especially when you get politicians and lobbyists uh, involved. But the one thing they did get right is these VA loans. Oh, yeah. 100% I mean, financing. It is the best loan you can get. Um, and there isn't a better loan that you could have. Um, you know, if you have any sort of service-related disability, they waive their funding fee, which is fantastic. Um, it gives you the ability to do what's called an interest rate reduction loan at any time, which there's no income documentation, no credit score restrictions. Um, it takes about seven to 10 days to close and, and you can, you know, drop your interest rate, even go into a shorter term at any given time. So there's a lot of really good benefits of having a VA loan. Um, it's also assumable. Uh, however, you do have to be a veteran in order to assume a VA loan. Um, but, um, you know, it's there, like I said, there isn't anything better. Essentially, FHA is kind of the civilian arm of a VA loan, right. but it's not the same. You, you, you have monthly mortgage insurance premiums on FHA that you don't have on VA. Um, which is typically equates out to be about almost 1% to rate. That's the equivalent. So it's a pretty significant difference. Um, government insured rates are also lower than conforming rates because of the fact that they're insured or guaranteed. So you're actually getting better rates on VA than you typically would on a conforming product anyway. And it's good stuff because when you're a veteran, and I know yeah. when I you know got out of the military and bought my first house with the VA, and I think at the time the cap was maybe like 203 or 199 or something like that. Um, it was great because you're, you know, you're, you're 20, Two twenty one, and you're able to walk in and buy a two hundred thousand dollar house yeah. with really, you know, not much. I mean, you can't be, you know, wanted, but you know, I mean, at the end <laughs> of the day, you still got to qualify. But right. you know, the, it it was really great, and I I remember that, and it was it was it was like one of the few things that I felt like in the big picture of of, of things, like besides the GI Bill and stuff like that. It was like, wow, that was that was really great. You know, I'm so glad you, I did that. So you were able to buy a, a property early, this early my 20s? First house, yeah. My yep. first house that I bought. Actually, we lived in a condo and the gentleman that owned it, uh, we assumed that mortgage and we you know, we took over that condo. But when we moved out of there when we were getting ready to have, you know, kid number two and you're, you know, 24 years old and you're like, you know, and here we bought in East Lake Woodlands, yep. right? Um, you know, I mean, I was like the youngest member in the history of the country <laughs> club. Yeah. Like when I won the club championship at 25 years old, they like blew their mind, you know, because <laughs> like everybody's like 70. 
<laughs> but it was it was it was a game changer for me as a veteran. It was like wow, you know, I I didn't have to compete with everybody else for what I wanted. I could actually go get what right. I wanted in a nice area, which at the time, you know, East Lake Woodlands was country, you know, in two thousand, yeah. you know. But it <laughs> yeah. was it was good stuff. So you must have went in early then too. You yeah, know, well, you I went in at eighteen or I went in right out of high school. Nice, okay. actually, uh, you know, right out of high school. Like, wow, no summer break ready to go <laughs> that's nice. awesome it served in well, desert storm service, and yep, yeah and yeah, no, i was good stuff i i enjoyed it i mean i was glad to get out you know i it, it ended up not getting the job i wanted and you know military is great for for a lot of people it just wasn't for me yeah. but i enjoyed my service i you know worked hard at it did a great job got a lot of letters of accommodation and it was you know great but i just missed my family i got stationed right. in japan yeah. and i was a you know Mama's boy, you know, like yep. I, I miss my family. Right. Yeah, no, hey, it's hard. That's that's the reason why I didn't play for the Naval Academy. I was recruited by the Naval Academy to play football, and it would have been a great opportunity. My uncle was really kind of upset with me. He's like, man, you could have came out and been an officer. Uh -huh. uh, but when they flew me up there, it was in January. Two of, years uh, on the ship or something. Oh, yeah, yeah the ship, and then you got to do the uh, five years afterwards. And um, so it's know, a it's yeah. a real commitment. It takes real yeah. men. That's right. To 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 be in the military for twenty years, it's not easy. You yeah, have right. to abide by normal laws and rules and regulations, and then the UCMJ, which is whatever they say, and it's <laughs> yeah. very difficult. And and you got to be you got to be real. And you know, I, I was talking. We were talking earlier. I went and watched the football games this weekend uh, down with Ian and, and some of the folks down at uh, one of the sports bars in South Tampa. And I wore. I had to pull out my old Pat Tillman jersey. You know, I don't own sports jerseys. I don't wear other people's names. And you know, a lot of people in those that do. That's great that that you do. I had Pat Tillman on, and I thought this was an appropriate weekend to wear a Pat Tillman jersey. And I got a lot of compliments for it. You know, just uh, it's a divisive issue in this country. And, and you look at you know some people. You know, they they want to um, sit the knees and, and sit on, take the knees instead of standing for the flag. Um, you know, and I see both sides of the argument. It's a, it's a very tough situation. Uh, you can't you win that at, argument. It's, it's, right, it's it is what it is. You know, it's it goes back to we are the greatest country in the world yep. because everybody can, and the, you can go through your you know your 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 top ten bill of rights. But I mean, yep. at the end of the day, freedom of speech. Yep. You know, ability to bear arms. Things that they can't do in other countries that we do here. Yep. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech. That's you right. Know? I mean, yep. everybody's entitled to opinion. What are we all going to do? Fight over it? Right. Yeah. And I think nowadays it's even more, you know, if you flash back to the late nineties, you know, I was coming out of high school, you know, we, we had some coverage, a lot of the athletes. Now you look at it, there's, there's so much coverage. You got the Twitters and all these different things. Uh, you've got high school kids being recruited by college teams before they're even a junior, you know. Freshman. Everything's happening fast. Freshman. Yeah. 14 the new 16. Yeah. yeah. All Isn't day. That crazy? All day. I got got kids all in our baseball organization. 14, they're already full ride, done. So my point is the pendulum swings, and, and nowadays there's more access and there's more instant information and the instant gratification we talk about, you know, so much on the show. Uh, you know, so so you see that playing out, and 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 then of course the media is going to twist things and make it kind of change it how they want it to go, and and uh, you know, and unfortunately, race is something that is always going to be you know at the forefront of that. You know, they're going to look for ways to race and uh, money you know, always, yeah, always, yep. So uh, you know, you, you look at that, and then so are people going to boycott the NFL? I don't know. It, it, how's the impact going to be felt? Um, and then you got, uh, you know, a lot of the, the fortune 500 companies, which we'll talk about in our top 10 list here. Um, you know, are they going to pull advertising dollars from certain athletes because of that? I doubt it. You know, it's, you'll see. they did last year. I mean, did I they? think now that you see the United front and you've got owners and, you know, I mean, look at the end of the day, we have a leader who's been elected, who likes to talk and good, yeah. bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. It sometimes is going to spark controversy, and I'm going to be honest with you: controversy isn't always bad. Yeah. Sometimes good things come out of controversy. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you never know how this thing is going to shake out. That's Today, right. it's crazy. Tomorrow, it could be all good. Yeah, it's competition. You know, this competition is is, is kind of similar as yeah. well, shaking things up. All right, stay with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to have uh, more from our expert contributors. We got our top ten list from the Fortune 500 companies, as well as Nashville musician befriends the woman who 
Uh, his negligent driving left him paralyzed. So stay with us uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Giving a shout out to Target Surveying. They do a lot of our, our real estate properties. They do uh, all of the boundary lines, checking for encroachments. And reach out to Target Surveying uh, if you are in the market. And we would love to talk to you about selling real estate as well. If you're looking to sell, we would love to talk to you there. Uh, innovative strategies to help our sellers profit more on the sale of their real estate. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.net. We'll see you on the other side. Hey, everybody. I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rhymes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372, online at ConsumerQB.com. to the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, the quarterback show. We're inviting all of our listeners, anybody listening to this show right now, if you want to come to our next gratitude party, uh, we're going to be Thursday the 19th over at Cox Media Group. Uh, we're ha hosting a gratitude party. So any of our listeners that want to join, any potential business owners that might want to join us there, uh, we would love to have you at one of our parties. Uh, catered food by Juan Conchero from Catering by the Family. Uh, gratitude party Thursday, November 19th over at Cox Media Group. Uh, five o'clock. So uh, let us know. Hit us up on the website, consumerqb.com. Just submit the form at consumerqb.com if you'd like to be involved uh, with that event and come check us out. Also, 813 670 7372. 813 670 7372. That's R E Q B. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. Any any feedback, any comments from the show? And, uh, you know, how can we help you? We want to serve you. We feel a strong moral obligation to give back. You know, I have a lot of uh, real estate adv uh, advice here. Uh, Jason's got a plethora of information around mortgages. Uh, Jay, of course, with uh, Snoop Dogg with the Snoop Inspections. And, of course, John Grant here in studio with Eagle LED Lighting. So uh, let's talk to Jay Smith now. So, Jay, uh, what are you seeing out there? What's happening with some of the after effects? Are you seeing some of the after inspections with Herma, uh, Hurricane Irma? Well, people are getting back out to look at houses. So, you know, the market's turning around. But uh, one of the things I look at after this storm, we've made it through. We didn't get – we got hit, but we didn't still get a direct hit. Right. So if you're concerned with your home, you're not sure where you are, something we do every day, 
but this may be something you want to get more information on is doing a wind mitigation on your house. Mm. Wind mitigation is going to tell you, you know, if you want to know more about windows, you want to know about how, you know, your roof is constructed. You know, even when your roof was last done makes a difference on how well it may weather a storm. Um, $75. If you haven't done one, you're missing out on discounts on your insurance. Big and discounts. number two, mm. we can come out and, and tell you where you might be able to improve the house to get more discounts. Um, there's companies that can help you. The, the biggest discount on your insurance is how your rafters or your trusses are t- tied down to the walls of the structure. Mm. Um, that's the spot that, that gets you more of a discount than anything else. You can upgrade an old house. There's ways to do it. Of course, it's all, every house is a little different. Uh, there's some that are easier than others that aren't going to cost you much money. But if you're going to be in that house for three years, four years, five years or more, uh, make sure how that's done. Cause it, it could actually pay you back. Yeah. You know, so why not do it? If it would cost you $1,500 to upgrade something and yet it's going to save you $500 a year. Right. Guess what? In three, three years you paid for it. Yeah. Now the fourth and fifth year, you just made a thousand dollars. Yeah. Plus the peace of mind of understanding that your roof is going to be that much more secure. Yep. Your family's going to be secure. And, and that's what I'm looking at. People are looking around at their house. like, yeah, we came through the storm. Good. Wasn't that much, but should we look into s- some other things a little further? Um, you know, we thought about new windows. What kind of windows do we need to put in, mm-hmm. you know, or do we just want to put shutters on the outside of the house? There's so many different options out there. And we can give you advice and we can give you information on some of the things that you can do around the house. That's what I'm looking at now. And for $75, you get both the possible discounts on your insurance. You can send in to any insurance company. That's a state form that we fill out and come out and give you more information. Um, it, it's worth a whole lot more than $75. Sure. Yeah, I like that. I love the idea of just being proactive when it comes to your home. You know, what are some other areas that you've you've seen in your many years of home inspection? What are some things that homeowners can do in general uh, just to, to main, you know, provide maintenance, long-term maintenance? Uh, I would say one of the other big things around your house is your trees. Mm-hmm. You know, actually having a good arborist take a look around. I know people that I have talked to, and it's like, yeah, I just had my trees done earlier this year. And everything's in, in great shape that we didn't get, you know, a bunch of stuff laying in the yard. Um, you didn't feel like things were going to be flying through the air and just the stability of the tree. I mean, mm-hmm. and, you know, if they look at it um, and know that it's healthy, it's not going to break halfway through the tree. Maybe it's diseased halfway up and you're not even noticing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say that would be a number one on the list other than the wind mitigation, the actual stru- structure itself to find out what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. And you look at, you know, with, with the interior of the property. So moving from the outside in, um, the interior of the property, what, what would you say in that space? Uh, interior. Well, beyond that, you start looking at, um, you know, maintaining your electricity, you know, whether you want to look into a generator, you know, if you've got natural gas on your area, you may look at that, you know, but that you really have to weigh out those investments on whether they're, they're actually worth it. If we're only going to get a storm, you know, every 10 years and you're going to use it for a couple of days, is it actually worth the investment to do that or just wrapping up your house and you want to leave? I mean, let's say the next one's coming straight for us. Right. And a lot of us, um, I was not one of them. I actually stayed in the area. I know a lot of people evacuated and how quickly you can get out of the house. Just come up with that plan. Yeah. Yeah. Have the plan. I I like how a lot of the newer construction properties are also built with the uh, prefabricated uh, systems where you can just drill them on and they're and you leave. Well, and it's a requirement. I mean, the the new houses, depending on where you are, there was a lot of changes in the Tampa market in 2012. Um, The lines of where you're required to put your better windows in the impact or put shutters on the outside of the windows moved quite a bit. And there's people that are living in those areas that don't realize the change that has happened. Uh, right through the middle of Hillsborough County. I mean, before where they didn't consider that in a high wind zone area, it was only Pinellas County. Now half of Hillsborough as of 2012 is actually in that zone. And that's one of the things we can look at for the wind mitigation. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, you know, and, and there's also companies out there when you, there's a, a company that will go around and look and they will actually help you contest if you're in a flood zone, they'll, there's a way that they do that. Have you heard much of that, Jay? No, I haven't heard about that. It's interesting. Yeah. I mean, we've got all these new maps out there. They've been redoing the flood maps the last couple of years. So I'm sure that can be a little bit of contention where you may not have been in the flood zone before. Now you are. And you know, some people might've gotten good news and 
you know, opposite of that. I'm, right. I would say it's more so the first where you ended up in the flood zone and wasn't yeah. necessarily in it before. Yeah, I can see that. And uh, so if any inspection needs, any commercial residential property inspections, Jay Smith, Snoop Dogg, he's the owner of A Snoop Inspection. He's our uh, our preferred provider for any inspections here in Tampa Bay. So we want you reaching out, again, consumerqb.com. Submit the form, and uh, we'll get you right in touch with any of our expert contributors here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. All right, let's talk to John Grant now, Eagled LED Lighting. So we look at the, you know, the ability to save business owners, homeowners a tremendous amount of dollars uh with these these new and intelligent systems now yeah i mean we're you know obviously we're really geared at the business industrial side so you know we don't really do a lot of homes i mean some of the the bigger ones and, and whatnot but you know for the most part uh what we're seeing is is a lot of these guys are jumping on financing now they're throwing the lights on a lease you know two three four five year deals so they get the the tax advantage and the straight line deduction keep it off their balance sheet uh and of course obviously we're cutting you know their energy usage by 75 80 percent plus um eliminating you know maintenance eliminating replacement costs rentals of lifts and right all that you know crazy nonsense that goes on with with lighting so 75 to 80 percent of cut it's actually more now i mean we're third generation i mean we've even got some fourth generation now we're 150 60 lumens a watt so i mean t two years ago we were a hundred lumens a watt you know so it's um it's very effective uh we you know we've got the ability to build in daylight sensors and you know dial dimming and motion and just you know all sorts of you know stuff that that not as just a motion it's like you can have it stay on for this many minutes afterwards and you can have it you know recognize this from this distance and you know, they're, they're just, you know, truly getting smart, you know, on the lighting. Um, you know, it's fun, I think, today, you know, compared to, you know, 12, 15 years ago, it's, um, you know, the last few years have just been a, a, a wild ride for us. Um, you know, we, we feel like we've come out of nowhere, but I think the whole industry has as a whole, um, you know, we've really solidified our raw materials, you know, in the Pacific Rim. Um, we're getting all of our aluminum from, you know, Australian Alcoa. Um, you know, we've just made some real power moves like at that level that's allowed us to, to really to, to expand and grow, you know, cause you can, you can have as many salespeople as you want. If you can't perform you're you know, you're no good. Yeah. I like that. So, so talk a little bit more about that. That's interesting. So you mentioned the Pacific rim, that's where you're getting some of your raw materials, uh, aluminum coming from Australia. Uh, all of our stuff. I mean, we assemble in China, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, our factory is, you know, it, it, first of all, the Chinese people are, are incredible assemblers. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we have seven or eight factories in our complex, that, you know, different, you know, stuff, but, um, it's just amazing what they can do. And now we're almost completely automated in our, in our facility. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we've got 15 full-time engineers, um, and there's five of us, five offices worldwide that support our factory. So it's, you know, it, we really can control our, where we get what, you know, so like mm -hmm. we sell all of our recycled metal powder coating, uh, and whatnot to other led factories in our local marketplace in, in, in Guangdong. So we're real confident that our long-term, you know, production or quality, if you will, is gonna make the difference. You know, the, the raw materials are already drying up. Like if you're not already a top five, you know, buyer for like Meanwell, for example, or Nachia, um, <laughs> you're not getting those. So so everybody's now doing knockoffs, you know, and like, mm -hmm. you know, we, we laugh, right? Like I'll, I'll spend $2,000 on a Louis Vuitton, but my wife will have it for 20 years. You go <laughs> spend $50 on the knockoff behind the gas station at the end of summer, it's already pulled apart. Mm. So, you know, you really truly get what you pay for in this world, especially in manufacturing, um, you know, and, and when you're talking about components, um, you know, buying out of bin 10 versus bin one makes a world of difference. Right. Um, you know, your, your product is gonna last. When someone says 50,000 hours, it's really gonna last 50,000 hours. You're gonna get your bang for your buck. Um, and I think a lot of the, the bigger businesses, you know, the, the Fortune 100 companies, people we do business with, you know, Department of Defense, State Department, 
you know, Navy, Air Force, you know, like we're doing bases, we're doing schools, we're doing embassies, you know, they're not doing business with us because of price. They're doing right. business with us because it's going to last. Yeah, I like that. And I think a lot of these facility managers or maintenance guys or engineers, they have a task, you know, and they, they want to get lights. They want to get LED lights. And they, they are constantly putting themselves in a position where they're not getting the right quality, the right mm -hmm. application, and it's causing them problems. Yeah, I can see that, man. It sounds like you, d you definitely, you know, are the forefront uh, leader, the forefront, the forefront leader right, when babe. it comes to Eagled LED lighting. You look at, you know, the the systems that you have in place. The, you know, the management team, the the sales rep. You said thirty three hundred plus uh, sales reps. Thirty three hundred. Right? I wish we have 300, about three hundred and fifty now. Three hundred fifty yeah. sales reps <laughs> nationwide, and you're we're going for that though. Just so you know, there you go, man. I like it. Big goals, big yeah. goals. That's John Grant eagled led lighting so any business uh, owners out there managers uh the the buyers he had mentioned you know reach out consumerqb.com and, and directly to our show at 813-670-7372 and when we come back uh we've got our top 10 list and also our feel good story of the week here and let's give a shout out to brio tuscan grill at the international plaza off of bay street uh next to the renaissance tampa hotel at international plaza uh brio tuscan grill is our hotel our restaurant partner here in tampa bay italian menu cozy atmosphere and bringing you the pleasures of a tuscan country villa to tampa so stay with us when we come back more from our expert contributors and we're going to jump into our lightning round consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com hey this is grant cardone and you're listening to consumer quarterback show hosted by my friend brandon rhymes do not touch that dial i'll come right through the radio and grab your throat to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com.
listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, the Quarterback Show. Former USF football player, the inaugural football team at USF, ranked number 17 now nationally and uh, 4-0, doing uh, really good this year. Really excited about that. And uh, yeah, not the strongest uh, schedule, strength of schedule. We'll give you that. We'll, we'll grant you that. But uh, yeah, yeah. So great, great stuff happening here in Tampa Bay. Uh, giving a shout out to Signature Massage and Facial Spa in Tampa. Are you looking for a place to get a massage or a facial uh, for an affordable price, but without having to sign up for membership? Look no further at Signature Massage and Facial Spa. They offer a one-hour Swedish massage for forty-nine ninety-five. Always no contracts. Come in early during the early bird hours, and you'll receive an additional ten dollars off for those muscles and knots that need extra work ask about getting a deep tissue or sports massage and if skincare is what you're looking for they have amazing facial and microderm packages check out signature massage and facial spa at 11248 west hillsborough avenue in tampa or call directly at 813-925-8898 925-8898 to schedule an appointment and Make sure you let them know the real estate quarterback sent you, and you're going to get a uh, $10, uh, $10 off your first service over there at Signature Massage and Facial. All right, we're here in studio. Jason Brooks in the house, uh, mortgage expert with eMortgage Management, uh, the Dell Bro team. Also, the Snoop Dog is in the house. Jay Smith, owner of A Snoop Inspection, and John Grant, Eagled LED Lighting. And uh, you guys ready for our top 10? Absolutely. All right, here we go. Let's do it. We got our top 10 list of fortune 500 companies ranked according to revenues hmm. all right so this year's fortune 500 marks the 63rd running of the list and uh, the fortune 500 companies represent two-thirds of the u.s gdp uh, with 12 trillion dollars in revenues 890 billion dollars in profits 19 trillion dollars in market value and employ 28.2 million people worldwide all right, let's jump into the top 10 list here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Jason Brooks. Mm, I'm going to go with Facebook. Facebook is mm, not, on the list. not on the list. Sorry, buddy. Jay? Exxon. Exxon Mobil, number four on the list is uh, Exxon Mobil. $205 million. $205,000. Uh, uh, okay, so we got a million dollars here. Billion. So that's going to be billion dollars in revenue. Wow. Big one. That's number four on the list, too. Probably most of the oil companies are going to yeah, be there. I didn't go energy. Well, nah, I don't know if I would go with that line of thinking here. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Go ahead, John. You're up. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah, your turn. Um, I don't like General Motors. General Motors. General Motors is number eight on the list. $166 billion in revenue. Very good. Back to you, Jay. Goodness. Um, <laughs> You're going to go for Fargo. another internet think about blazer? Retailers, think about <laughs> Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is not on the list. Wait, can we hear the X again? <laughs> he wants the X. Bum, bum, bum. I need to get that one. Yeah, like you that. need dun, that dun, one. Dun, dun, about the the Wally World. Wally World. Walmart. Walmart. That's, what I was <laughs> That's number one on the list, Jay. I was going to say Walmart, it's probably a big one. number one on the list, $485 billion. Wow. That's an empire. And you know when they every when every time they do the richest men, you see you know the Bill Gates and you hear uh, Warren Buffett's name mentioned. It's actually the Walton family because they split it up against you know four, three or four different people in that family. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so the Waltons, man, good old Walmart back in the day. All right, let's hear it. Who, who was? Uh, That's my turn. I mean, <laughs> what do you want? The buzzer? Yeah, give me the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Is no. Amazon on there? Amazon. I, you, would, you would think they would if Walmart was there. I, I would think I would think uh, Amazon would be on here, but I'm not seeing it. But Microsoft, probably not. Anywhere on there? Apple. No, Apple is. Yeah, Apple, Apple's on yeah. there. Right. Apple's number three, 215 billion. And you know, a interesting thing I, I learned or I read a book. Uh, Apple, the I think it's the Apple effect. Um, per square foot, anytime you go to one of these malls, you go to International Mall, West Shore Mall, per square dollar uh, per square foot retail. Apple is the highest in the world in terms of 
how little space they use to sell all the Dapple products. Well, we need some more stores around here. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I got a it's crack really screen funny. here. It's really funny. You walk through the you walk through the mall, it'll be dead. You hit the Apple Store and you can't even get in. It's a, it's a, it's hilarious. It is. Yeah, it's interesting. They got people to put you on list to get on the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get on the list. Uh, okay, number ten, a large motor company. Ford. Ford, Ford Motor Company. <laughs> Uh, number nine, a large telecommunications company. AT&T. AT&T. Uh, GM was number eight. Uh, number seven, you might not think about CVS Health. Wow. CVS okay. Health. Yep. I think, were they the ones that came out with those mini mark or mini, the mini clinics? Mini clinics? Yeah. CVS, mini well, clinics. Walmart or Walgreens probably on there too, right? No. 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 United Health Group. United Health. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, McKinnison. M-C-K-E-S-S-O-N. -S -S never even heard of <laughs> They're, um Are they um, uh, consulting? Must be, must be. Uh, Exxon Mobil, Apple, number two was Berkshire Hathaway. Mm -hmm. And there's there's your uh, uh, Warren Buffett showing up. And then number one was Walmart. So there's your top 10. The top 10 Fortune 500 companies. Next year, uh, raced. Trump properties will probably be up in there somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Trump properties. All right, so we got our feel-good story of the week. Every week we go against the grain of the often negative mainstream media. Tell me something good tell you something good so we've got a nashville musician who befriends the woman whose negligent driving left him paralyzed uh, so nashville musician david francisco immediately forgave the woman who left him paralyzed and the two have been invaluable to each other's recovery since freya mikowski drove through a red light on april uh, 2016 and struck david on his bicycle mikowski who was off of her uh, bipolar meds for the first time in years says she's heard a million manic voices in her head while driving that day. She went through a red light. Uh, Francisco went to the emergency room with a spinal cord injury. I, I felt like I'd kill someone, she told the Tennessean. I remember being in a uh, black hole. A few months later, Mikowski went to the emergency room for a heroin overdose. She was, as she recovered, and she sent a long apology text to Francisco. Flashbacks of your body covered in blood haunts me. She wrote, I would never have traded those uh, places in a heartbeat. I lost my soul in part of the accident. I forgave the woman at the beginning. He said the former, the two have formed a friendship based on forgiveness that has uh, been each instrumental into each other's recovery since the accident. Mm -hmm. So interesting uh, story in our Feel Good Story of the Week. And we have just a limited amount of time here for our quick lightning round. The lightning round! I am so good at lightning rounds! I made Quick burst here on the lightning round. round. So top tips, things to do, nuggets of advice, and nuggets uh, parting of words of wisdom. Um, it is much easier to be positive, so be positive. Yeah, you know, I like that. being negative is a choice, and we there's a lot of negativity in the media right now. There's a lot of yeah. division. Um, just choose to be positive. You know? I like that. Uh, be friendly, neighbor. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, what's the saying too? Is uh, if you if you're a complainer, people sometimes people complain and they want to tell you how bad things are going. Was it eighty percent of the people uh, don't care, and twenty percent are glad it's you and not them? Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, Jay, <laughs> uh, call us. Get more information on your house. Let us do a wind mitigation. Find out where your house may be not be may not be up to par today. Yes, there's higher standards today in construction. We can help you learn about your house. It doesn't mean you can't upgrade it. I like that, John Grant Eagle. Um, you know, obviously, don't don't make a mistake. Don't uh, you know? Get lights, get LED. You don't have to get them from us, but you know, if you got a big facility or you you really want the best of the best, then uh, Eagle is the way. eag ledcom and doesn't matter where you are in uh, the country. We got you. That's right. I love it. All-star lineup. I want to thank our, our folks for coming in today, our expert contributors. I want to thank all of our listeners and viewers of our TV show on WeBeam TV. And we want to remind you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Uh, something as simple as packing up leftover food you may have, carrying it with you to and from your commute to work, and handing it to that person uh, that you see that's in need. Uh, be a force for good in the community and do something kind for one another now more than ever. Uh, we need to come together with unity and uh, be a force for good in the community out there uh, by a serviceman or woman, uh, off-duty uh, cop, uh, service woman, uh, first responder, buy them lunch, buy them breakfast, and uh, be a force for good. We'll see you next time. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. You've been listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 
on AM 1380. The Biz. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. 